night. Um, Neil, does it, does it feel any different being third in the table now to being sixth, which I think is where you were a week ago? It, it's certainly nice to, to be in the top three. I mean, it's, it's so tight and things are going to change over the next few weeks. But, uh, yeah, if we, could, if we could finish in the top three come the end of the season, that would certainly be good. But does it, in a sense, put a bit more pressure on the chasing group now that you're actually above three or four of the people who are seen as the dark horses to go out? Yeah, possibly. I mean, I'm... I'm sure that the teams that are watching the results coming on Tuesday night, you know, the teams around us would have been disappointed when we got a, a late winner, you know. So perhaps psychologically it was it was good as well as getting three points. But as I say, it's so tight that you know things are going to change all the time. But if we can get a bit of consistency between now and the end of the season, it'd be nice to stay up there. The wider picture is you're ten points clear of eighth, and that's really putting the squeeze on teams like Southend and Bradford, who still might think they they have a chance of going up. Yeah, there's a little gap forming. Uh, like you say, between seventh and eighth, and uh, you know, which is good. That's a, you know, if the, if we can get into the playoffs as a minimum, that's you know, that's obviously the aim. But we, you know, we want to finish as high as we can. Three years ago this weekend, it was the six-five at Burton. A lot's happened since then, hasn't it? Yeah, there's been a there's been a, a big turnover of players. We've we've certainly improved on the pitch and off the pitch as well. I think, um, and we're, you know, we feel we feel like we're we're a good club at the moment and. Uh, Things seem to be going well off the pitch, and we're trying to trying to do the same on the pitch as well. And it's, uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a good couple of years. The boss was quite fizzed up on Tuesday night about the pitch, and was saying that you know it would be much better if only Cheltenham played on it. Is is that something that was a spur of the moment coming from him, or is that something that he deeply believes? Possibly. I mean, I think it's a fact anyway. You know, there's it's had that many games, and I think that was its fiftieth game, and. You know, with the best will in the world, I don't care how many people you have working on the pitch. When they have that mu that many games on it, it's not gonna be as good as it would be if they had fewer games on. Um, but it's you know that's that's the way things are. That's we just got to get on with it. And uh, it may have been a spare at the moment, but it's I think it's a fact as well. The chairman implied afterwards that okay, if Gloucester aren't here, that comes out of the playing budget, and that's perhaps a, equally a, a, an important thing to bear in mind. Yeah, I mean it's it's out of our hands. Is is there's finances involved and. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. As far as Burton are concerned, I mean, they've had a really good season at home this year. That's been the plank on which their bid to go up has been built, isn't it? Yeah, they've had a real good home record. They've had some good recent results. Uh, just recently beating Exeter and, and Rotherham. Um, but yeah, they, they they got beat the other day, so they're on the back of a bad result. But the home form certainly been they got them up there this season. Is that is is their sort of is not quite the right word. Is their ability to stick around near the top of the table surprised you at all? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, they, they, it, it's hard sometimes. I mean, I think Gary's done a great job, you know, having to, to follow Nigel when they've when they've, the club's had success. You know, sometimes that can be difficult, and uh, he got the job full time, and he's you know he's he's kicking on again, and he's he's got a good squad of players. If to say they certainly got a better home record, you know, than away, but. Um, yeah, the fact they're up there doesn't really surprise anybody. Uh, do they have a certain ethic about the way they play as well? Because it's been a, a side that's played you know, proper football. Not It's not as functional as some teams. Actually, it's reasonably attractive to watch almost ever since they've been in the league. Yeah, it's, I think, again, starting with Nigel when they're in the conference. Um, it, it's a good club. It's a really good, friendly place to go when you're... If you go scouting, if you, if you turn up as the opposition, you know, they do look after you. They seem to do everything right and... Uh, and that's how they that's how they they have the game on the pitch as well. You know they they like to play football, and uh, it's a, I think it's a real good real good setup for our level. You've got nine away, five away, nine left, five away, four at home. Given the system you've just dropped into in the last two or three matches, might that suit you better away from home than at home? Do you think? Do you know what? I don't know. I think we're. Uh, I wouldn't know who we wanted to play or home and away. You know, if you had to guarantee a result, we, we, we could we we could beat Port Vale. We could, you know, we could beat Wimbledon. We struggled against Wimbledon, at, at, you know, against the bottom of the league side and, and managed to managed to beat them in the end. But it's it's such a tough league. It's it's tight and home away. Whoever you're playing, they they always seem to be difficult at this time of year. And actually, the Burton game at home was a difficult one to win. It took a late goal to, to see it. It was, yeah. I thought uh, I thought it played quite well that game, and we were the better team and, and deserved the victory. But uh, yeah, it was it was still a tight game. And from their point of view, people like Magoma, 
um, Billy Key up front. Zola's no mean player either. Is their forward players w- would be ones you'd need to mark carefully? Yeah, they've got certainly got goals throughout the team. Um, you say Billy Key's scored a couple in the last few weeks and McGorman's been chipping in all season. Um, they are, they're, they're a talented bunch of players. They're, they're on a high at the moment, bar last week, but um, you know we, we're doing okay ourselves. We've won a, we've won a couple on the bench, won a I think we lost one in about 11 or 12 or something like that, you know. So we we, we can go there with confidence ourselves. So we got a bit smothered on Tuesday in terms of tactics. Everything, well, since he got the ball, there were four people around him. Have you got to try and work out how you can release him a bit more? Because if he does get stifled, that just stops the flow a bit, doesn't it, towards the top of the side? Yeah, I mean, possibly going back to your other question, it, it may suit us being away from home a little bit. Um, I think possibly the best we've played this season was at Fleetwood and, and there was a few gaps there Fleetwood trying to come at us but we, Sam was able to pick you know little pockets and, and get into areas where people don't like to mark him and uh, if we can do that at Burton great and just to pick up on that if Sam's playing <laughs> <laughs> indeed um, because you're playing a lot of sides around you at the top you're going to have teams wanting those extra two points that will is the difference between a, a draw and a win so do you think we're going to see teams really going for it in these closing matches as opposed to saying well actually we're quite just content to sit tight here yeah possibly again it's it is it's that tight and, and teams teams at this time of the year it's they're trying to get wins be it to get into the playoffs to get into the top three to, to pull away from the bottom two so yeah we've, we've got some tough games coming up but as I said earlier I wouldn't I wouldn't know I, you know the, all the games are tough in this league this season I just lastly one on injuries Darren Carter just looked to be walking off a little bit gingerly on Tuesday when he was subbed. No, no lasting damage there? He should be okay. I mean, he's, he, he's, Wes, has, Wes has had a good look at him and hopefully he should be okay. But he's, yeah, he's, he's had a little niggle for a few weeks, but he's, he shouldn't keep him out. You know, the manager said he was thinking of taking Jason Taylor off and putting Sam in the middle until somebody on the bench said no. And uh, <laughs> was that you? Uh, <laughs> no, I think it was a group decision. Um, it we got to the point I thought where you know you can either stick or twist, and we were we wanted to go and get the win, obviously, but we didn't we didn't want to do it if it was going to leave us open and go and lose the game. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's the beauty of the, the the strength of the squad. We've not got the biggest one, but we've got options. We've got some good players, and uh, you know we, we could have perhaps taken Jason off, put Sam, you know, kept Sam on, and gone on and won two 0 Who knows? It could be the fourth game in a row. You, you keep the same team, which I don't think you've done at all this season. That'd be is that a nice situation to be in, where you, it seems almost not picking itself because you want competition, but you know everyone's earning their place. Yeah, it's certainly good that we've got um, an empty treatment room bar, bar Harry Hooman. Um and just as I say, looking at the numbers, it's you know it's good management I think from from Wes's part because you know three or four injuries that some clubs have, you know we we, we add down to the bare bones end, but people want to keep the place in the team and uh, the only way they can do that is by performing on match day and at the moment the last two or three games they've been doing that. You remember Bristol Rovers away last season where you first played the three in the middle and it you went on a great run then didn't you and Fleetwood this season it's obviously happened a bit later but you do seem, seem to have found that formula now. How, how yeah. difficult has it been to she tinkered around and tried various different things? Yeah I mean it's it's, it's funny I mean last season we were, we were perhaps playing better earlier in the season and then we were playing with three in the middle of the park and by the end of the season we teams had perhaps sussed us out a little bit and we felt we needed to get the another centre forward on the pitch, you know, playing two up two up front and um, this season we've we've sort of been doing the same thing and it's we've perhaps not been playing as well but we're still up there in, you know third in the league. Um, so it's it, it, it is it's difficult. It's you can get the extra man in the middle of the park and dominate the game and and you think sometimes we could do with another man up front you play two up front and you feel like you're a man short in the middle of the park you know it's it's not an exact science that's why I think we all love the game and it's about getting the right balance yeah you, you only got two draws in March last year I think and, and six or seven defeats so you've already got two wins already this month so yeah you probably throughout your managerial career with Mark you've had always had strong starts haven't you but you he's always seemed to just Fall yeah. away a little bit. So, do you think this could be the year you buck that trend? Hopefully, yeah. We had a we did have a tough tough run again last year um, in March, and I thought we were very unlucky in a couple of games, especially Swindon away and Shrewsbury away. Um, but this year we we're up there now. We 
perhaps we're just getting a little bit tired this time last season, just perhaps almost running out of, of legs a little bit. But I don't feel like we like that this season. I feel like we we can only get stronger. We look fit. We look we look uh, on form at the moment, and, and nobody's just looking at the appearances over there. There's nobody's, you know, sort of like as I say, running out of legs. Really, they're all ready to reach the peak and kick on for the remaining part of the season. Yeah, good result for you last night. As well. I know, it doesn't really matter what other teams do if you keep winning, but everyone seems to be dropping points, don't they, at the moment? Every, all those teams in top yeah, seven. Yeah, really. it was. Yeah, I saw that they were. They're losing 2-0 and then it came across on Sky saying they'd won the game 2-1 and I was doubting myself for a minute but uh, it was obviously a mistake by somebody in the Sky Studios but yeah I was pleased when it uh, when they corrected the score and, and Exeter had, had lost. And suddenly the top two don't look in such a commanding position do they? A couple of weeks ago they looked like they were home and dry really now. Yeah. You know, you're almost within striking distance. Yeah they have, They've, the pack's got a little bit closer and uh, it's... I've always thought you should be looking up rather than looking behind you, and there is a gap to eighth, but you know we, we want to claw the, the top two in. Yeah. Cheers, Neil. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Bye. Bye.